And now time for your WACS traffic report brought to you by Gutbuster Burger, home of the double-fed, triple-decker Gutbuster. The streets of Fort Wayne are a total mess as we're wrapping up day three of the zombie apocalypse. Ewing Avenue from Maine clear up to Coliseum is packed with the undead, causing traffic jams and wholesale slaughter. On the north side, a tanker truck is overturned on I-69 at the Auburn exit, sending toxic clouds into Pine Valley Estates. If you are on your way to the shelter set up at Parkview, you're out of luck, as the National Guard has ordered an airstrike on the hospital. We'll have more traffic, weather, and news at the bottom of the hour. For WACS, I'm Daily Carson. And now we have two weeks to do a challenge for Halloween, which we're calling our Monster Challenge. We're giving you those two weeks to create an up to two minute long short film with a monster. Uh, what do you think you're doing? What do you think I think I'm thinking I'm doing? Have you looked outside? Have you watched the news? It's a zombie apocalypse out there. It's the moment I was born for. So, collecting every living dead movie ever made makes you qualified to do something about this? Absolutely not. However, I can get away with a few things that I wouldn't be able to otherwise. For instance, that guy in 3A who plays the ranchero music at all hours. Very noble. Indeed. However, first, I must fortify myself for this upcoming slaughter. I must gird my loins for the battle to come. I must crush that triple-decker gutbuster burger. I don't think that's a good idea. Silence! My burger, squire. Obviously, you're the one who hasn't been watching the news. Enough. My burger, or your life. That's not even a real gun. You don't know that. Maybe it's a prototype. Maybe DARPA made it. I do know. No, it's not. And you don't even know what DARPA stands for. Ducks are real people also? Droids and robots press ahead. your funeral.